Wanna take a selfie? Sure. You're cropping my head, I think. Oh, am I? Sorry. <laughs> How's that? I like them. That's yeah, a good one. That one's a good one. Lately, dating has been pretty rough. Um, let's see, uh, we've been canceled on, we've been uh, ghosted, and we've been dumped. All right, so we're looking for someone who has their own dreams. We generally like to meet people in person, but because of COVID, we can't really go out very well. So we're just gonna adapt to change and set up an online dating profile. Meet some new people and see what happens. You enjoying yourself over there? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm looking at these nice ladies. <laughs> I got a few here you might be interested in. A couple of them say they're uh, non-monogamous. I think you'd like this one. Is she cute? Uh, some topless chick. <laughs> oh, like literally, wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've decided to try some of the more mainstream online dating sites. Most of the mainstream dating sites now actually have opened up quite a bit and are including options for polygamy, plural relationships in general. Okay, how old should your future wife be? Do 25 to 34. And I don't think ethnicity, we it don't. Doesn't matter. Body type, I don't think. Um, curvy. Does your future wife want children? Yes, I guess. I wish there were a few more choices. I think, yeah. I think she should be open to children. Because if she's not open to kids, she has to at least want your kids. So the way we envision our future as a family is me and Tasha, the second wife, and the kids all collaborating together on our household and to help chase each other's dreams and build a bigger family. And it's not a big deal if a potential doesn't want biological children right away because I'm kind of in the same boat as well. But it is in our ultimate family picture to have that larger family life. It's not just about a relationship between me and multiple wives. This is for the whole family. 